Welcome, uh, my name is Annika. Today I will be talking about social problems within families. Some quick definitions important to know are what a family is and what a social problem is. A family is a group of two or more people who are related by blood, marriage, adoption, or mutual commitment. And a social problem is an aspect of society about which people are concerned about and that they would like to change. There are two types of families. A nuclear family consists of one to two parents and children. An extended family is the same as a nuclear family with the addition of other kin. Two approaches seen throughout the presentation are the system blame approach and the person blame approach. The system blame approach frees individuals of responsibility. This allows the system to act aggressive in a way that may not be beneficial to the individual. Person blame approach is a strong, has a strong tendency to blame problems on individuals rather than the social systems. Norm violations consist of folkways, mores, laws, and taboo. Folkways are minor violations. For example, wearing mixed match socks. It goes against what is normal, but is considered simple. Mores are moral violations like marrying a cousin or someone from your nuclear or extended family. Law is exactly what it is. It's a law, and it's an encoded norm. For example, driving under the influence is considered unacceptable. Taboo is a socially forbidden violation. This violation is geared toward being a law, not a social problem. For example, cannibalism. Next, we will go into the main social problems in families. Social, problem, social problems are usually created due to disorganization. Here are some examples of social problems within families. One, traditional. Two, marriage-related. Three, violence-related. Four, economical. Five, addiction. And six, gender discrimination. Traditional social problems pertain to things like child marriage, child labor, and child abuse. In connection to child abuse, it went from a private concern to a public policy issue quickly. The mistreatment of children emerged as a social problem due to family norm values. Beating a child is seen as wrong because people view children as innocent and unaware. Hurting another person is not tolerated, especially in the United States. Private societies are gradually replaced by public institutions. The progressive era includes public services. Private organizations were deeply involved in removing children from poor families with the belief that they would receive advantages. It seems as if people view child abuse as something completely different from what we had 50 years ago. Norm, norms continue to change. Society is coming up with new technology and has new opinions every day. Individual circumstances like child abuse um, are linked to the structure of society. And society now views the world from the perspective of the abused child. Remember, social problems are created due to disorganization. So since we know this, things like divorce, adultery, and polygamy are problems that alter the homeostasis in marriages. This is what causes the disorganization. Not only does it go against the norm, but it also causes imbalance to the marriage equilibrium. Divorce is considered a social problem because it causes huge emotional shock on adults and also to the children. Quote, divorce can cause other social problems due to the amount of emotional stress, unquote. Yeah, in today's society, um, it seems to abandon the unique concept of eternal marriage, making the norm violation taboo. Even though divorce is considered a social problem, it may be needed to prevent additional issues within a family. In the study conducted on divorce and psychosocial effects on adolescents, the relationship between children and parents is adopted, is adapted to the new situation created, unquote. So conflicts between parents and their children due to divorce sometimes end, fam end fairly quickly because of the realization that family functions better apart. So those kids understand that now, since their parents are divorced, it makes their lives a little bit easier. Also, kids like to um, take this as a lesson. They learn to take effect in un uncomfortable situations after divorce.
Domestic violence was created as a norm violation due to the amount of violations committed. Violence is the official response. People see violence as a problem and the alternate strategy to prevent more problems are laws. Economical, social problems can consist of things like poverty and unemployment. Not only is this a norm violation, but it can also contribute to stressors or hassles one may have. Drug, alcohol, and tobacco addiction contribute to social problems. When it comes to addiction, people tend to use the person blame approach. Quote, despite common conceptions, addiction is rarely about hedonism, but mostly about desperate attempt to deal with the pain and suffering. Unquote. In this situation, system blame approach may be a more successful approach when combating addiction. Addiction is seen as a social problem because it not only affects the person addicted, but also those connected to that person. Unfortunately, due to the height of this norm violation, the possibilities of release are continually narrowed. But this social problem is the manifestation, the manifestation of the addiction cycle itself. Gender discrimination poses problems when it comes to depriving equal opportunity. As a woman, I think of this constantly, to be honest. Like, I wonder, will my resume be overlooked because I'm a woman? Uh, will I receive the same pay and the same benefits as a man? Here on the slide, we read, quote, women who work in establishments in which relatively many of the managers are men have lower wages than women with similar qualifications and the job demands in establishments with more women in the power structure. Right, here's my reference page and that is all. Thank you. Have a good day.